So welcome back and today we're going to talk about more unique features of the VidIQ which is called daily ideas. This is this feature available for VidIQ Pro and Boost licenses and the difference between those is that VidIQ Pro license is giving you 10 ideas per day and VidIQ, and VidIQ Boost license is giving you 50 ideas per day and 10 is more than enough if you'll ask me but let's explain what it is so it's basically a keyword and video title ideas that vidaq thinks that it might actually work well for your channel and and it actually gives you the viewer prediction in this case it's medium and it also shows you more information about this video so let's just cover what it does so you're gonna see this in this way in a car way and you can also it's available on vidaq dashboard under daily ideas and you can even see it in the regular dashboard uh, right here uh, on the left side is a uh, daily ideas right here and same way any other place in YouTube where daily ideas uh, tab basically uh, exists and you can have saved ideas dismissed ideas and daily ideas as well so if you just dismiss the ideas and think that oh you shouldn't I shouldn't have done that don't worry it will be still available for you and it's available in a way like a tinder swipe left swipe right so if you're gonna swipe right it's gonna save you swipe left is gonna dismiss and gives you the title itself like in this case affiliate marketplace which are best uh with three exclamation points i don't know i have no idea whether this keyword will have a good views or not but still vidaq thinks that it will and you can also skip this one but there is also one more thing that you can see and it is show related videos you're gonna press this one it's gonna show you related videos to this keyword and you will see whether you will have actually some chance to rank for it or not uh, so when, when you're gonna search this keyword usually this one will pop up and you see that absolute majority of those videos two year one year two year ten months uh then let's go to the right five months one year one year two year to your absolute absolute majority of those videos are actually pretty old so yeah there might be actually a chance uh for you to rank for it and you know what let's just save this one then you're gonna see the next video is beginner biggest beginner program mistakes to avoid well i don't know if it uh, qualifies for my channel plus i'm not good at uh, development programming so i'm gonna dismiss this one and Anki algorithm explains uh, this will make sense. I have no idea. I'm gonna go dismiss this. Then I feel like marketing explain all beginners should learn. Then I'm gonna see show related videos because actually I'm actually doing some affiliate marketing as well. Let's see whether it will work for me as well. And it actually shows them uh, almost all the same videos and almost all are pretty old except for this one. Uh, this is actually a bit newer. But yeah, you can actually rank for this. So you know what? Let's just save this one and move on to the next one. Five Instagram alternatives for marketers to watch uh, in 2021. Um, well, I'm not very familiar with this one. So let's see what other people are doing for Instagram alternatives. Uh, you know what? I'm going to dismiss this one. Best website for web and graphic designers. Web N then space D. So I'm not sure if it will be a good one. But next, paid passive affiliate sites instantly and nope, dismiss. Five common mistake for YouTube SEO mistakes to avoid in 2021. YouTube SEO for beginners. So if you're gonna make this video exact this title, so you're gonna compete against those guys. And yep, <laughs> look at this. A month ago, a guy with 89 subscribers <laughs> made this exact video and he has now 41 views. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm smiling, I'm laughing, but yeah, it's actually an idea that you can actually rank for. And if you have small channel and if this 89 subscriber channel actually managed to get there in a month, you most likely have a chance as well. So you know what? I'm going to save this one for myself. Uh, then all notification about notification in email. I'm going to dismiss this as freelance marketplace. Uh, I'm not very good at this one. So I'm going to dismiss this and that will be it for today. Basically, this is showing you the 10 videos, uh, 10 video ideas, and you can go to save ideas and you will see all the ideas you have ever saved and also all the ideas you have ever dismissed. And if you go here, you can actually delete this. I'm actually covering with my face. It's actually somewhere right here. You can see all this uh bin buttons so in order to delete this one for example let's go with crypto wallets explain for beginners when you're gonna press this one it will actually open this idea for you and it will actually show you all the different videos that people have already created for this and you can think whether you actually can rank for this ones or you can just ignore it and you can just go and do the keyword research the same way that i taught you 
in the previous lectures and you can decide whether you want to make video about this one or not mind that the daily video ideas is not uh, the make video about this and you will have a lot of views type of thing it's actually giving you some ideas what people might be looking for and what you might create videos about in order to boost your channel because VideoQ is actually analyzes uh, the types of viewers for your channel, the types of videos that you are creating and it will actually see and, and it, it will actually look for videos that similar people in similar interests are looking for. Now, uh, you might ask the question, I have a YouTube channel that's about course creation, about content creation and things like that. Why did it show me the idea about crypto wallets? Because the course creation usually and uh, like make money online niche usually is very closely related and have very similar audience to the crypto audience, the crypto wallets, the people who want to get rich with crypto as well. So that's why it's actually giving me this recommendation as well. And as for the developers, why it shows me the programming side of things, because a lot of developers and our programmers who are creating a bunch of websites who are teaching about this are interested in my content as well. So that's why it's actually showing me this daily video ideas as well. So VidIQ actually knows pretty well what type of videos might work for my channel. And I highly suggest you to actually follow some of the ideas and you might find actually a few good ideas that might be good for your channel. Know that in order for ideas to be well suited for you, your channel has to garner some views in the beginning and have a little bit of viewers because and a little bit of videos because VidIQ needs to understand what your channel is actually about. It will not understand the daily video recommendation will be way too random and way too general for you and way too difficult to rank for you. So just know that in the beginning, it will not be that great, but as time will go, it will become better and better. And follow the daily ideas, check it daily. It will refresh every single day. Check it daily, save the ideas. You can just accumulate it dozens and dozens and dozens of ideas and by the way everything right here is actually giving you real time for example five tips for the beginner photographers it's not uh, the same that i did two months ago it's actually updated and uh, as you can see like not a lot of people created new videos about that not a lot of people so i still have a chance to create this one and most likely this guy actually followed this one, uh, this tip, I created a video about this. As you can see, the actual ranks for it, even though it does not have, it doesn't have a lot of views because, uh, yeah, it does not have a, a proper branding for the channel. That's why it probably doesn't have a lot of views. Same right here, uh, only 300 subscribers and still ranks even in six days, pretty good enough. And with dozens of videos like this, your channel will start growing in no time. Yep, this will be for daily ideas. Again, pro license, 10 ideas per day more than enough in 50 ideas per day only makes sense if you don't want to check daily ideas every day and you don't care about this one and you want to check it occasionally and get a bunch of ideas all at once and you don't mind paying 50 dollars a month which i would if i were you this will be it for daily ideas and let's move on to the next lecture So welcome to the bonus lecture and in this lecture, as promised, I'm going to show you how we can actually gain one free month of vidIQ Pro or Boost. So how you can actually get free month of vidIQ? So all you actually need to do is go through the link and the resources of this lecture and that's basically it. It will show you exactly what you will need to do in order to claim this free month. There is not much to do there. Just click the link. Everything is already done for you. You will just click the link in the resources and it will show you how you can actually claim free 30 days of vidIQ. By the way, this allows you to claim both pro license and boost license. However, I highly suggest you, I highly, highly, highly suggest you to go for a pro license. Do not go for the boost license because whether you will decide to continue after the 30 day trials, trust me, pro license is much, much, much more valuable than boost licenses. In my opinion, boost license is complete waste of money if you cannot afford it. So I hope this will be helpful. If you haven't completed the course yet, please complete the course because you're going to learn a bunch of new things and if you have completed, well, congratulations. This will be it from me. And again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and hope to see you in the future lectures on in our future courses. See you and take care.